What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and I am back with another Peaky Blinders episode. Season 2 episode 2 is here today and season one, season 2 starts out with a bang. Okay, literally. They bombed the pub. Um, so, and Tommy is looking to expand. Um, we have... Paul, uh, um, Paul, um, Polly, she's having some issues, you know, trying to figure out if her, if her, um, children are dead or she don't know what's going on with them because, um, apparently, um, protection services, children protection services took away her kids when she was young. Um, so that was, she doesn't know what's going on with her kids. She doesn't know if they're dead, if they're alive. So she went to a psychic to find out and the psychic basically tell her, oh, they're dead. So, yeah, never trust the psychic. Yeah. So Tommy, um, the Italians and the Jews are fighting in, what is it, London? Is it London, right? The Italians and the Jews are fighting, are fighting in London. So basically, if Tommy wants to expand over there, he has to choose a side, basically. He says the Jews are taking the brunt of it. So I'm guessing he's trying to side with the Jews. So he picked a fight in a, I don't know if it was a casino, probably a whore. It looked like a whorehouse bar, whatever the place that they went. And they had the brawl. And the Italians responded basically by kidnapping Ada. And um, they kidnapped Ada. And also they beat up Tommy. They were going to kill him and the cop showed up or um, what's his name? Walker, Inspector Walker. Is he still is he? Um, I mean, I'm talking about, I always call him Inspector Walker. It's Campbell. Inspector Campbell showed up. Right. Still no sign of grace. I don't even know if they bring in her back as a character. They have to. They have to, man, because she shot him. They can't just leave it like that. They can't just dismiss a character like Grace like that. That wouldn't be fair. So I'm definitely looking forward to see what they're going to do along with that. Okay, so we're going to jump into this episode, man. See what is the aftermath of Tommy getting beat up. What did Inspector Campbell do? Did he get him help? What is the situation going on? forward okay so thank you guys for coming over here man make sure you go over to the google drive and watch this episode i know we've been having peak, um ep problems with the google drive lady lately if you have any issues as in it's telling me that there's a view limit or whatever the situation is um this video can't be played because there's a um there's a view limit and whatever the situation is please leave a comment on this video letting me know that so i will up upload it to a different source and you will be able to watch it there okay um i'm still working on a complete solution to all of this which is to have my own website where you can just go and watch these reactions okay so um so i'm working on that still in the works sooner or later it will be ready it's just me guys i don't have i can't i'm not gonna hire somebody to do this for me because i want it to be as personable as pro uh, as possible i i really don't i and i'm a person like this not that i love working by myself because i hate working by myself i love having a team because i think teamwork make the dream works as co as corny as it sounds it's the truth so um but for, for certain things i just like to do it myself because i want it to look like how i want it to look and also I don't want anybody to be questioning me and in my ear talking about something. When it comes on to certain things, I just take it very personally. And I just want this. I want this to get done. But at the same time, I have other things I want to do. But I'm taking my time and I'm working on it because I want it to look like a Terabyte Reacts um, website. So already got the domain name and everything like that. It's just to get the stuff. Um, so I'm still deciding on who I want to go um hosting the site um still being decided because i also do not i want to be with a hosting website that is not going to limit me when it comes on to uploads because these hd videos they're taking up 
you know, these one hour videos are like three gigs a piece, right? And they're recorded at 720, not even 1080. 1080p, would, it would be probably double that, right? So I'm working on a solution, guys. So just bear with me. As I said, if you're having problems with the reactions on the Google Drive, please let me know and I will upload it to a different source and you can watch it there, okay? So only the diehard fans, I know I, I know that you're the only ones that's going to do this. Um, so it is what it is. If you guys enjoy my reactions, I know you're going to let me know, okay? So if you're having that problem, leave a comment on here and I will shoot you a different link where you can go and watch this and I will upload it to that link um, also, okay? So thank you guys for watching as always, man. It's been awesome. Um, go ahead and watch that reaction on and we'll come back for the review. All right. See you there. All right, guys, what's going on, man? Welcome back to the review of Peaky Blinders season two, episode two, man. This one was a very good one um got an update on what's going on with grace grace has gotten married to some rich dude um but she's still writing letters to tommy <gasps> tommy is burning those letters i'm very interesting stuff went on in this episode tommy writing mr churchill <laughs> with some demands if he's going to continue doing this assassination stuff. Um, but I don't think Inspector, I don't think Major Campbell or Inspector Campbell, as we knew him from season one, he got a promotion. I don't think he knows. I don't think he knew that Tommy, or maybe he did, that Tommy was working for that. Because I was wondering, who is these people that came out of nowhere? But they're basically the mi6 of back in the day you know what i'm saying they're the cia you know what i'm saying the spies of back in the day you know killing people for political reasons whatever the situation is just to maybe get an upper hand in hand in the region or something like that or whatever the situation is threats on the president threats on the king queen whatever the situation you decided they decide that that guy needed to die right so tommy carried out the execution but I don't know if if Campbell knew who he didn't know, but dude wrote Mr. Churchill, letting Mr. Churchill re re it related to Mr. Churchill first. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Churchill is like, listen, man, this guy has been through a lot in the war, and this is all he wants, and we're asking him to sacrifice himself for the king for the for, for the kingdom again, for the country again. Come on. That's easy. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Inspector Campbell is disagreeing, even though he's never been in the war. You know, of course, he's disagreeing because he wants, he's doing this all out of jealousy. All of this is stem out of jealousy because Grace chose Tommy over him. All of this, this revenge factor, this whole um, trying to to um, control Tommy and all of this other stuff. All of it is stemmed from that. OK, all the aftermath of finding out that Grace didn't love him, but in turn loved Tommy. Everything that happened after that is all because of that. All the revenge factor. OK, we got to really meet Sabini, which is like I didn't even really see his face. It's just that voice. I know the voice is um, I don't remember his name. It's a guy. Um, I don't know his his name in real life, um, but I know the voice. It's the guy that cut off jamie's hand in game of thrones i know it's that dude okay that voice is a very unique voice it's a very unique it's not many people that talk like that if he's actually italian um and with an english accent and you know he knows how to do english he's he's a brilliant actor don't get me wrong it's just that his roles are always so like he's born to play the bad guy you know what i'm saying like the minute he comes on screen you hate him <laughs> you know what i'm saying because he's always in opening scenes he's never a nice guy he's always just like the most horrible person on screen every scene he's in you know what i'm saying and here we are again with him 
um, being Sabini, completely nutty guy, just nutty. Like that whole scene, I was trying to understand. I understand him trying to wonder how comes he's got cops on his payroll and they didn't know until after the fact that Tommy was coming in town where he went to Camden or whatever how did they not know you know what I'm saying the guy said one thing is like did you just say deal huh even though the guy basically just said hey we're doing everything in our power to deal with this guy and he took it out of context completely and started screaming. Um, I'm surprised he didn't kill the guy. Just out of anger. I'm, I'm really surprised he didn't kill him. But I guess, you know, he, he's not that powerful. I, I don't know if he could get kill cops and get away with it. Um, but we, I don't know that yet. But um, Tommy Bynes um, going to find out what's going on with Polly Botter House. Um, finding Polly's son, her daughter is dead, which is not cool. Um, but still, it's it's you know it's hurtful. But it, it it's just this series, man. It's just a great series. Um, and we're back on track this week. Hopefully, I can get another episode to you guys on Friday, which is um on the schedule, of course. Um, yeah. But thank you guys for watching as always, man. I'm looking forward to see how these stories are going to develop. Um, Arthur got in. He's, the PTSD is killing him. And now this dude went and gave him cocaine. Now he's on the coke. He's high as a kite at that party. The opening, the, 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 the reopening of the bar and stuff like that. I mean, it's just crazy, man. Ada coming along. Um... Tommy bought her a house too. She's very happy about that. I'm happy about that. That she's moving on. As I said, she's just she's just the 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 one in the family. She doesn't want to associate with what they do. You know, I don't think she hates them. It's just that the repercussions of what they do always get trickled down to her and she hates it because she's not involved. You get what I'm saying? Like, she is the odd person out in the family. She's the only girl out of all the kids. Because it's, what, it's four boys? Um, it's four boys and, and one daughter. I mean, and one girl, right? So, and she's the odd one out. She's the only one that doesn't participate in the gangster life in the family. She's not a part of the Peaky Blinders. But she is a Shelby. But she even, she wants to change her name to thorn because she doesn't want to be a part of the family right so she doesn't hate him but it seems like she's coming back around um meeting with um the meeting that tommy had with with solomon's um which is played by tom hardy which is i can already see how much how much of a complex character he's going to be trying to understand him he's a freaking psychopath okay Solomon's is a psychopath, okay? The way how he just has to go in detail about everything is just one of those characters. He reminds me of, um, what's his name, James Spader's characters. Like in pretty much everything that James Spader played, like these elaborate explanations of why he does things and how he does things. Like if he's going to kill you, he needs to explain to you how Shakespeare would have done it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the, that's the kind of person, he, the character that he's playing here, which is pretty, pretty cool. And I'm going to enjoy that because Tom Hardy is one of the best actors out there. Um, I didn't particularly like his role in Venom, but the movie still, I still think it was, it was a cool movie to see. I liked it. They polished up the CGI pretty, the, the CG in that movie really well. So I really liked it. But I wouldn't give it, it wasn't a 10 out of 10 for me. It was more of like a 7 out of 10 movie for me. Um, and he did his thing. He did his thing. Um, so he's one of my favorite actors. Not because of the Venom movie, but just because of past characters that he's played. And now he's in this that I'm watching. So that's pretty cool. Um, um, I think he's this guy that's behind me. I did not, because of the beard, I don't know him with a beard. 
So that's the thing, like, but I but I noticed the eyes. I didn't realize because he's he's sideways on this poster behind me. But I didn't notice. I think that's him. Could be. I don't know. It still doesn't look like Tom Hardy in this picture, but it it, it looks like it's him. Um. So, pretty cool character, man. Pretty cool character he's playing. So I'm looking forward to see how that's going to play out. Okay. So I think I covered everything that happened in this episode. Um. The respect from from Churchill for for Tommy too, but you know how it's gonna go. They're gonna use him until they doesn't need him anymore, giving them everything he wants, and then they're probably gonna try to kill him. That's how they do. So I'm really enjoying this series, man. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed it with me too. It's been quite a ride, quite a ride with this with this um, show. So see you guys for the next one, episode three. Hopefully, will be on Friday. If anything, definitely, definitely, I'm going to try to get back on schedule with this. So definitely, I'm going to try to get another episode to you guys out by Friday, okay? Thank you guys for watching as always, man. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. As I said before, if you guys have trouble viewing this on the Google Drive, please let me know. And I will upload it to a different source where you can watch it, okay? But I'm not going to do both at first i need to know if you guys are having problems you guys have that view limit problem where you can't watch it and you know you can't wait a day to watch it please leave a comment on this video and let me know okay so that i can upload it to a different source and you can watch it there okay thank you guys for watching as always man it's been great it's your boy terabyte reacts remember to like and comment under this video peace